This is getting really, really crazy. It has Meghan Markle just gaslit that Girls Inc. charity and now saying that they're lying about her? Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph, the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to the Dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye, and oh my goodness, yeah, let's jump into this madness, shall we, because is Meghan Markle now gaslighting that Girls Inc. charity and saying that they're lying about her? Because... It seems like she's now denying even saying that she is one of the most bullied people in the world. Now, for those that don't know, just a little bit of a quick recap. Earlier on this month, Megzi went to this Girls Inc. kind of event uh, where there were local teenagers there. And she was there with support from the Oprah and Melinda French Gates' foundation. And you had Larissa May and this maid worldwide headlines here. Uh, She's the founder of the Girls Inc. charity. And she says, we did an activity where we walked through a bunch of scenarios and Megan talked about being one of the most bullied people in the world. Now, as soon as this came out, I did a video. A lot of your favorite Megxit YouTubers also did a video on this as well. And personally for me, I was like, cowbag. Please. Seriously. I got two words for Megzi. Sussex Squad. Okay. They bully. They harass. They threaten her name and has his name as well. But not once have I seen Megzi or Hazza publicly denounce the Sussex Squad and turn around and say, we do not condone them. We do not co-sign them. We do not support them in any way, shape or form. They've never done that. Yet, Megzi's going around being like, we need to combat cyberbullying. Well, until she denounces the Sussex squad publicly, her trying to combat cyberbullying is basically her farting in the wind as far as I'm concerned, right? Now, whoo, the response was absolutely brutal, okay, guys? And we have Kinsey Schofield here, okay? on her own channel. And if you're not subscribed to on her own channel, do it now. You're living under a rock otherwise. And she says, quote, many will consider Megan referring to herself as the most bullied person in the world while being a target of a Buckingham Palace bullying investigation or a Hollywood reporter investigation, a master class in gaslighting. By continuing to draw attention to the concept of bullying, she is only attracting more attention to her own bullying allegations. And Kinsey is absolutely correct on this because she is being called a bully by her own staff, uh, allegedly, okay, in uh, America. And let's not forget, she was literally being investigated by Buckingham Palace for being a bully towards the staff there as well. And every single time she draws attention to herself, being like, oh, no, no, I'm not the bully, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. She's only attracting more uh, attention to her own bullying allegations. We saw that with the Hollywood Reporter report, right? The Hollywood Reporter article came out. She then, with ex-staff members, current staff members, then do a defense in the US Weekly magazine. Oh, less than 24 hours later, the Daily Beast rock up and be like, no, she ain't the best boss to work with in the whole wide world. Here's some further allegations. So, yeah, it's all backfiring on Megzi. Now, Megzi must be seeing all of this backlash, all of this response to her allegedly saying that she's one of the most bullied people in the world. Because now, a being a conspiracy theory, whatever, she is gaslighting the Girls Inc. charity. And um, is she now claiming that they're lying about her? Because sources here are confirming to the New York Post that Megzi talked about her experience with online bullying, but never claimed she was the most bullied person in the world. It's a, it, she's moved the goalpost ever so slightly. It's a very, very clever manipulation tactic. But here we go. She talked about her experience with online bullying, but never claimed she was the most bullied person in the world. When we go back to what Larissa May originally said, she alleges 
that Megzi talked about being one of the most bullied people in the world. So let me know in the comments down below, who do you think is lying here? Do you think Larissa May is lying? Or do you think this sauce is lying? What did Megzi say? Did she say she's one of the most bullied people in the world? Or did she just talk about her experience with online bullying? And even that, talking about her experience with online bullying, to me, again, it's fighting in the wind. Because until she publicly denounces and turns around and says, I do not support the Sussex squad with their bullying, harassment, threats, she can talk about her experience with online bullying all she wants, but it's meaningless. It's worthless. And I have had personal experience with the Sussex squad. Over a year ago now, I had threats to my life, threats of harm, nasty, disgusting messages about myself and my family. Now that's online bullying. To turn around and saying that, you know, you are experiencing bullying when all it is largely online is just criticism of Megzi. Criticizing Megzi does not mean that you are bullying Megzi. Again, as I said in my previous video about her allegedly saying she's one of the most bullied people in the world. Originally, it was if you criticize Megzi, oh no, you're racist, you're misogynistic. It was a defense that was very insidious. It was there to try and shut us up because no one wants to be known or seen as racist or misogynistic. But guess what? There were a few of us that stood up to her and we were like, yeah, come on, no. We ain't racist. We ain't misogynistic. We're just criticizing your lass and just reporting what's in the news. So crack on. Now, her new tactic, it seems, is... No, you're the bullies. You're the bullies. Nah. No, 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 no. Again, we're just reporting what's in the news and criticizing where appropriate. That does not mean we're bullying. Just means we're reporting and giving our own commentary. There's a slight difference there. Just like there's a slight difference now in this whole gaslighting situation. Did Megzi only talk about her experience with online bullying? Or... Did she come out at this Girls Inc. Half the Story event situation and say that she was one of the most bullied people in the world? Who do you believe? Do you believe Larissa May, where she says Megzi said she's one of the most bullied people in the world? Or do you believe this saw saying no? She didn't say that. She just talked about her experience with online bullying. Who do you believe? With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course, there's going to be more. You do not want to miss my next video. There is a major, major update with the whole Prince Andrew American FBI investigation. And I've got some thoughts about this that you may agree, you may not agree with. We'll see on that one. It might get a little bit spicy. So if you don't want to miss that in my future videos, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alter Nerd tribe because I'll be honest with you, help us now get to a million so we can also get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very, very strong opinions about Megzi looking like she's gaslighting now this Girls Inc. charity, and I bet you do, then make sure you say, Send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, laters.